Hello you all, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I take thrifted and yard sale finds to create a DIY thrift flip wash tub garden for my outdoor space. Here we go. Okay, so this is a super fun project. I have done this before. I think this is my third year doing this. I'm updating it for 2021. I've gotten some different dishes and a few other extra accents. I'll go ahead and show you everything you need to do this garden or type of garden in your outdoor space. And I'll give you ideas on other things you can use if you can't find exactly what I have. So I'm gonna turn, turn the camera around and I'll show you what you need. Okay, so the first thing you need, I have this old wash tub. I don't even remember when I got it. I got it a long time ago. Uh, if you don't have something like this, you could use an old sink. You could use a big bucket or some kind of tub that you have, even a plastic tub. And you know what? You could even use flower pots if you have none of the above. You could use a big flower pot and make it look like a sink. Um, I've seen people do this in enamelware pots, like large enamelware basins. So that's another idea. Uh, so you just, you need a large vessel in which to put your washed up garden. And then I also have all my other things over here. I have some gardening tools. I've got my nifty gloves, which I also found at a yard sale. You need a white flower. You want something that's going to look like soap bubbles once it mounds and fills in. So I always use sweet alyssum. You could use a flower called bacopa. You, um, there's other flowers, just a tiny white flower with lots of flowers is really what's going to be the key here. So this is the sweet alyssum. I'll show you the tag and this is my preferred um, flower for this project and it looks small now and it will look small in our wash tub but once it fills in for the summer it will look like mounds of soap, soap bubbles. I will insert some footage at the end of this video so you can see what my other ones have looked like in the past but definitely a white flower and then some dishes. So I got different dishes this year. Um, these are some of the ones I've used before. And don't mind, we are in the midst of scraping and painting our deck. So that's why this looks that way. <laughs> so just ignore the deck. But these are the dishes I'm gonna use. These are ones I've used before. I spray painted white dishes. You can see after two seasons, it's starting to come off a little, but I'm gonna let it go one more year and I'll re-spray spray paint them next year. They were white. And I just wanted something a little bit more bright in my garden. And then this year, I decided to add in some pretty blues. I've been doing a lot of blues. I have like a blue umbrella and blue cushions and pillows for my deck. So I thought I would bring blue into my wash tub garden because you can see where this is, all my blue pots. So this is kind of at the base of the stairs to our deck. Um, again, don't don't mind the mess under the deck. We're, we're working on it. But that's why I wanted to bring in some blue. So I got some blue bowls this year and just some other i think i had these and then i thought these would be cute oh i never took the price off that but that's okay and i did not pay a lot for these um you know i, I don't want to pay a lot for something that i'm just gonna throw outside um okay so i have all those but then i also have some little teacups that I picked up at a thrift store. Now these have the blue and the yellow. And so I thought that would be a cute way to tie it all together. So I got three of those. And then I have some silverware, a little old cake server, and then you need a faucet. Well, you don't need, but I like the look of a faucet. And I will tell you about this in a minute, but um, so yeah, something that you can make it look like water is coming out of. If you don't have that, it's totally not necessary. It's just another fun detail. So I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod and we'll go ahead and get this done. Okay, and we're in the midst of a heat wave here in Minneapolis. So if I look like I'm sweating, I am. <laughs> I've got my uh, hat on to protect me from the sun a little bit. It is almost 99 right now. So it's been really hot this week. Um, so excuse the excess perspiration if that's if that happens. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first year that I made this, I did use E6000, you can kind of see up in there, to attach these beads. This was like, you can get things that are made for like chandeliers. You could string beads together yourself. Um, I just wanted it to look like a water drip. So I attached that and it has not been, a, it hasn't come off. And then in order to put this into my soil at the right height, I put these dowels in. So they're not glued in, they're just stuck into the mechanism that would normally attach the faucet to the sink. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in my washed up garden to get started. Now that seems a little high. I am gonna add some dirt, but I want it higher because once the flowers fill in, it gets pretty, like they get pretty big. Um, you know, they, they get to be pretty big mounds and I kind of, I wanted my faucet to show kind of above them. So that's why I have it high. Let me get my soil, we'll add some dirt and then we'll go ahead and do the rest. Now I know this is not my gardening channel. This is dirt that I am reusing. I do reuse my dirt. I have previously added some coffee grounds to this and some peat moss. And now I'm just mixing in some soil. If you're starting from scratch, you would just want a good potting soil uh, to start your, to fill your wash tub garden. I'm gonna put my other glove on. I need my fingers to be able to turn the camera on and off. That's why I've been taking this glove on and off. Now I'm gonna mix my soil in just so it kind of blends the new with the old. I don't remember why I had this here. This was left over from last year. I don't, I don't remember why. I'm gonna keep it handy. Maybe I needed it for something. This video is part of the Bring in the Summer with Flowers hop. This is being hosted by Diane and Janny over at Deco Easy. If you haven't checked out their channel, I would love it if you'd check their channel out. And also remember to follow the link to the next video in the description box of my video. So once you're done watching this video, go ahead and click the link to hop on over to the next video. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for visiting and for hopping on over to my channel. I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Okay, so now we have our canvas, I like to call it. We're ready to go here. So all I'm gonna do is stick my little dishes in and then I'll put the plants in last. So, and you kind of just do it how you think of a sink full of dishes might look. Um, I stand them on their sides just cause that looks cuter. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them in. And you don't want to put them too deep because like I said, the flowers get big. So you kind of want the dishes to be, you know, in enough dirt that they're not going to fall over, but not so deep that you won't be able to um, see them once the flowers grow in. And I try, I think I'm going to do the bigger ones towards the back so that my cute blue ones can show. And I can rinse all my dirty fingerprints off um, once I am done. And you want to be able to leave enough space that you can plant the flowers in the sink uh, and you know that there'll be room to plant them. And then I like to float my little teacups kind of right in front because they're so cute. I used a different teacup last time. I like these a lot better. Where can I put a third? I don't know. I don't know if I can fit a third. Well, let's go ahead and plant our flowers and then I'll see if I can fit the third. And I have my little spoon for digging holes because you, you know, it's easier than a finger sometimes to just get some of the dirt out of the way. And I'm not gonna space these out. They do just fine tightly packed in because you want the bubbles to really look like bubbles so all right I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these planted and then I'll show you up close what it looks like. okay so I've got all my plants in I had to take a break because I was so hot I had to go inside and cool down but I've got all my plants in and I was able to get the dirt 
off of those plates from my gloves. I don't know why, but my gloves really mudded them up. So now I'm gonna do the fun little bit, which I didn't do last time, and I saw this on someone else's um, Pinterest board. They had done a, a garden in like an enamel, I had told you, in an enamel wash basin, which was really cute, but they included spoons in it, which I thought was so cute. So I've got this pretty cake cutter, found this at Goodwill for a dollar. So I'm just gonna stick that in somewhere back here. And again, I don't want things to get too covered by uh, the flowers once they fill in, so I don't want these to get too deep. I just think this is such a cute idea. So I don't want someone to stab their leg over here, so I'm going I'm to put the spoon over there. there the fork, that's going to get too deep. Okay, so there it is. That's my dish garden for this year. Oh, I bet that's, so I don't want that. Okay, so I just moved my dripping water to in front of that plate because I don't want it blocked. And then my, um, my plants are gonna fill in and it's gonna be beautiful. I'll take the camera down and show you a better look. Okay, so here's my 2021 DIY thrift flip wash tub garden. I just love it. I love how the blue and white plates look with the yellow. I love the addition of the little utensils. I think that's so cute. I'm loving these teacups and the colors in them. I think it's adorable. I will insert some footage here or a picture uh, to show you what my other one looked like once it was filled out. Don't forget to hop to the next video in my description box and I'll see you next time. Bye!